Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Robert's Porch. I'm your host, Robert. All right. Uh, a little incident last night on the T-Sport 200 NASCAR Custom Truck Series race with Corey Heim and Christian Eckes. Um, been a lot of social media traffic saying that Heim needs penalized for that. Um, NASCAR set a precedent, so they need to follow through with it. Guys, people, here's the thing. No two instances in NASCAR are consistent with each other. NASCAR can't be consistent on things that are inconsistent. No two cautions, no two incidents, no two anything are exactly 100% the same. To expect NASCAR to be consistent on penalties on things that are naturally inconsistent isn't consistent. So what Harrison Burton and Carson Husbar had under caution when Carson spun Harrison and got penalized for it. That is completely different than what Corey Heim and Christian Eckes did. Completely different. What Bubba Wallace and Kyle, Hook and Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, Hook and Denny Hamlin, is completely different than when Corey LaJoy got into Kyle Busch. Can we say he hooked him? Yeah, I guess you can use that terminology. But what's crazy is, at the Chicago Street Race, I used that terminology that Bowman hooked Larson. I got attacked on social media. So the narrative that we have on social media to say who we like, if that something happens to them, the other person needs penalized. But if it happens to somebody that we despise and hate, they got what they got. They, they got what they deserved. That is part of what is wrong with society today. And, and I make this statement a lot of you people. And, and I've said this multiple times in different posts. And I get people losing their mind. What do you mean, you people? I mean exactly, you you people. That's, there's no underscore meaning to it. There's no different meaning to it. It's you people. It's you people that think that way. It's pretty clear. So let's take a look at the Corey Heim, uh, Christian Eckes incident. To me, it's nothing. NASCAR shouldn't even have this on their radar. Um, I know everyone's like, well, it's under caution. He should get fined. No, he shouldn't. Because drivers all the time do this under caution. It happens. Well, let's go back to Pocono last year when Kyle Larson, oh, the golden boy, when he got into Denny Hamlin. Because Denny Hamlin ran him hard. If that's our thing now, if somebody runs us hard and we want to get back into them, fine. That's that's fine. But to get penalized for it? Come on. That's just, I don't agree with that. But let's take a look at this Corey Heim incident. First, we're going to see when Corey Heim got into Eckes, and then we'll actually go back and look at what, what led to leading to that. So we're going to take a look at that first. All right, so the first thing we're going to see, you see, this is all he did. He just kind of went up into him. No harm, no foul. Didn't even hit him because I don't see any marks on the 19 truck. Obviously, we see the front tire flat on Corey Himes' truck. So next thing we're going to take a look at is what led to this. All right, so right here is going to be the initial incident. I guess got up high. I'm on the outside. Right there. And that is what messed up the left front fender, which I think led to the tire blowing out. So that's just racing people. There's no egregious. That did not cost any line. I would be utterly shocked. If that's even on NASCAR's radar. I mean, we've seen it before. That is not the same as what Har Carson Osbar did to Harrison Burton. I just hate everyone trying to put everything into this small box. Well, this is like this, so we're going to do this. This is, No, everything is not the same. NASCAR can, again, NASCAR cannot be consistent on items that are naturally inconsistent. So, just my two cents on it. Stay tuned for the uh, Brickyard Xfinity Race preview and the Brickyard 400 preview coming soon, along with some pro wrestling stuff as well. As always, thanks for watching Average Sports Show, and don't just have a great day. Have a spiffy day. Average Sports Show, your YouTube leader, sports content.